So clearly, I'm not going to win Miss Congeniality of Facebook. Damn. Another year. Another year. You know, clearly, you know, hey, I, I'm i okay with not being popular, not being liked, but you're going to get this work. As much as I can give you this work, you're going to get this work. Because again... I've already explained. I've already been fooled and bamboozled by religion. So I'm not going to sit here quietly and play into this bullshit for people. I'm not going to do it. Okay? Christianity is a lie. Okay? It's time for you to be a big girl and a big boy and get your research on. This is the age of technology. This is the age of information. There is absolutely no excuse. Absolutely no excuse for us to be completely ignorant about something that we boast about. If you walk around and say, I'm a Christian and, oh, Jesus this and God that, then research it. Research your origin. If you're not able or willing to do that, then you should really be clowned. I can understand, okay? I can understand someone who, like the older people maybe, you know what I'm saying, who's not technic, you know, technically savvy or computer savvy or, you know, they don't use Google that much. But for all you... People 40 years and younger who's on Facebook and you know how to get on all these little dating sites or social media sites and you pretending you can't take the time to Google what you are so foolishly believing in. I'm almost on the verge of clowning you. This close. This close. I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge of clowning you because, you know, it's stupid. It's stupid. Why would someone like me and so many other uh, self-proclaimed black conscious people come and tell you that, hey, we messed up. We fucked up. We fucked up. We told you some inaccurate bullshit. We were ignorant. Now study. What, what do you think I get from this? I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting paid. But it's hurtful. And it's painful to see my people walk around in ignorant bliss. Blissful ignorance. Because they don't want to study. You have no right. You have no right to be respected when you won't study. It's one thing. Nobody told me. As I will tell you and I've told you before, nobody told me the shit was fake. Something clicked in my head like, bitch, this shit ain't real. You might want to study. So that's what I did. That's what I did. So it's no challenge. I'm not pussyfooting. I'm not playing with you. I'm not feeding you no baby bottle. You need to get your grown ass up and study because you're making an ass out of yourself believing in this Christian bullshit. And not only that, you're making an ass out your children. You're not empowering the kids. You're not empowering telling them to look outside of themselves and pray to something that does not exist, never existed, will never exist. There ain't no man coming to save you. Ain't no man coming to save you. Come on now. The white man. That's who gave you that. To enslave you. Make big bucks off you. Turn around and sell you the damn remedy to something he made up called sin. I'm sorry. I know y'all think I'm crazy. I ain't got nothing to lose. I ain't got nothing to lose. At the end of it all, I don't have a damn thing. To, what I got to lose? I'm saying I'm independent. I'm doing me. And I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I ain't nothing to lose but to tell my black people how stupid, how stupid you look believing in Christianity. How stupid you look not researching the origin of your belief. It's be life. 
be lie, it's a belief. It's a be lie. You be lying. <laughs> I am goddess. I am Queen Sheba.